Hello everyone, my name is Dunnington, and welcome, after a long, long time, back to Love at First Sight. Now, I've been gone for quite a while, left, left the series and a few more unfinished, for many of reasons of which I've posted videos on earlier, if you would check, like, check them out to see what's happened. But besides that, I'm going to try to get back into this. Do be sure to expect more uploads in the coming future. Maybe, maybe not regularly. Uh, not sure. But anyway, let's get back into where we left off. I also forgot all the voices, so bear with me. That woman, your Aunt Mayumi, does she treat you badly? Huh? Uh, no, not at all. I can't really seem to get close to her, though. Oh. I don't know if Sach Sachi is bad at telling lies or not, but it does seem like a lie at least. Yeah. From what I remember, Auntie Mom didn't come off very well to us. She might be getting her injuries from being bullied at school, after all. Oh, that's never good. But without knowing how her family treated her, I couldn't be sure. Okay, uh, I'm going home. You can return to manga whenever. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, we lent her some manga. It's pretty cool. Oh, uh, sure. Really, thank you so much. No problemo. See you next week. Yeah. See you. Sachi ho hoists the bag up. Okay. Sachi hoists the bag of manga up with a grunt and heads inside. After making sure she made it inside all right, I start walking toward my own house. Uh, time to go home. I'm worried that our relationship isn't coming along as well as they had hoped. Ugh. We gotta get with the mono-eyed waifu. Mono-eyed waifu for the win. But at least it doesn't seem like she's being abused by her family. Seems that way. At any rate, I think we've gotten just a little bit closer than we were before. And I smile as I think about that. Well, I guess that's a nice thing to think about. Oh! 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 My heart. My heart. I just love the transitions. Oops, I skipped something. You know, I don't mind watching this again. This is beautiful. Oh, she touches my heart. Oh, shit. Why are you open? Go away. The next day, Saturday. On days when we don't have school, I usually go hang out with Tomo and Akami. Akami, Akimi, I forgot how to pronounce her name. I'll, I'll, I'll say uh, Akimi. Aki, 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 Akemi. Akemi. Today, though, it seems Akimi's busy, so instead I'm at Tomo's house, browsing through his books. Oh, yeah, the zombie? Tomo has a minor c collection of pretty interesting manga and novels, and it's not too unusual that we'd hang out in his room every now and then. Oh, you look like you're dressed for school. Is Ak Ak Akami. Is Akami still doing things with her club? Ballet club, right? No. She's at a birthday party for some third year student she knows. I, I can remember his voice very much. Man, she's got a big network of friends. It's because she's both adventurous and kind hearted. She does have that kind of personality, but she's also pretty. And she's good at studying in sports. That's probably what makes her so popular. Yeah, I guess so. Probably. Isn't she bothered by that? Isn't she, uh, isn't she bothered by that? If she is, I've never heard her say so. As usual, he doesn't go into detail. The fact that he only replies with such a non-comic tip, commental, I've never seen that word before, non commental comment to answer is aggravating, so I try to probe him for more. 
Aren't you two going out? Who? Whoa. Hey now. Mamoto. Mamuto. My Fuck. <laughs> it's been so long. Mamoto, you're, you're treading some dangerous waters, my friend. What's that supposed to mean? No, no. I'm not mocking you or anything. The way you two are so close. I at least thought you were going out at first. We've just known each other for a long time. Oh. Do you want to? Ooh. Ooh. Who cares? Anyway, what about you? Looks like you've got a crush of your own. Oh, shoot. Tomo is... Tomo is very... Very... Uh, what's it called? Is it, t don't... Fuck. I messed up. <sighs> Whatever. It's pretty unusual for Tomo to change the topic so bluntly. Oh, shit. We, he knows what's up. Like that. Pointing that out might be bad, though. So I let it slide. How can you think I have a crush on Akimi? Not her. Don't you have a thing for the one-eyed girl in the first year classes that, that you're trying so hard to become friends with? Oh, dang. He knows. He knows what's good. You mean Sachi? Indeed. Getting closer to the girl with no friends who's bullied at school? If you're not doing it out of Akimi's levels of random kindness, poking your nose into that girl's business is only going to cause trouble. What are you trying to achieve? Do you have a crush on her or something? Oh. He's very insightful. That's... Uh, I... No? Come to think of it, I've never considered why I want to get closer to Sachi so badly. Dude, Mono Ai Waifu for the win. Maybe I just got involved because I pitied her, like Tomo said, rather than out of the kindness of my heart. Dot dot dot. I guess you don't even know yourself. Feeling uneasy with the silence I've created between us, I blurt out the first thing that comes to my mind. You're probably right. I suppose there was no need to answer like that, though. So anyway, what's going on with her? Oh, I ended up walking back to her house with with her so I could give her the manga all at once. To her house? That's pretty... Uh, daring. Indeed, indeed it is. Dot dot dot. After that, I tell him about the time I've spent with Sachi so far. Even though I was a little hesitant when I started, as I go on telling Sachi's story, I reflect on it all and realize I've actually been having a good time. Yeah, just getting to know her better. It's not like we did anything especially fun, but I have enjoyed talking with her. Still, I'm really doing things because I have some kind of crush on her? Question mark? Probably. But I feel like that's not an easy question to answer, so I try to shake it from my mind. It's not like I need an answer right now, anyway. I mean, not right now, but sooner than later. Oh, okay. Hey, achievement! Getting closer! Hell, hell yeah, man! Dot, dot, dot. Monday, the beginning of the school week. I normally have to drag myself out of the house, my brain heavy with gloom and drowsiness. But today, I'm feeling a little different as I walk down the street. Oh, dude, I know that feeling. M Monday morning, 7 a.m.? Gotta get up from college. Fuck. It's terrible. Usually I make a beeline toward school. I did it again. Can I go back? I wanna go back. Thank you. Usually I make a beeline toward school. But instead, I'm straying from my normal path to take another nearby street there. Oh shit, we're gonna visit Sachi! Hell yeah, mate! It's not like it's a big loss of time. But since the fastest way to school is to go straight ahead from my house, I don't normally use this road. Oh. Of course, it's not like I'm just choosing to go this way for no reason. I can go fast if I take streets without many people on them. Yeah. And of course, even if, it's, even if it's unlikely, I thought that if I go this way, I might... Dot 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 dot. As I walk on, I see a figure ahead of me. Aw, oh, dang! The torn uniform, the messy hair, the slim build, and of course, the bandages on her head. There's no mistaking who it is in front of me. Sachi. 
think I gave myself goosebumps. I speed up to catch up. I speed up to catch her and nudge her shoulder. Hey, morning. Sachi turns towards me with a startled look on her face. No doubt from my sudden appearance. I guess I should have expected that kind of reaction. Ah, uh, Mamuro Senpai, why are you here? <laughs> Sorry for sneaking up on you. My house is right near here. I mentioned that, didn't I? The route I normally take is just one street over. Oh, really? Yep. I took this street hoping I'd see you. I didn't think I actually would, though. Do you mind if I walk to school with you? Aw, oh, dang. Walking to school together. N no. It doesn't really show in her expression, but I think I hear a little excitement in her voice. Oh, dang. Might just be my imagination, though. Probably not. Might actually be a thing. What's in my eye? Ow. That was weird. How was your weekend? Did you read some of the manga I lent you? Oh, yes. I've already finished parts of the two series you lent me. Both of them were really great. Good. Her tone is uncharacteristically lively. She's wearing a cheerful expression I've never seen until now. But her good mood kind of rubs off onto me, too. I'm glad, then. I thought I should return the books I'm already finished with. So I brought, what, so I brought them with me today. I said you could take your time, didn't I? Uh, are you sure? Of course. What should I give you next? Oh, actually, which of those did you like best? Um, both were good, but I like this one the best. The one with the boy who can see ghosts. Ghost boy? Da 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 da. As we continue walking and talking about the manga's contents, school comes into view. Sachi has been fairly talkative on the way here, holding an actual conversation with me. Carrying all that manga for her was definitely worth it if I if it makes her that happy. Aw, oh, hell yeah, man. We're already here, huh? I usually walk to school alone, but this, but this is more fun. Yeah, always fun to walk with friends. Yeah. While we were walking, she was still keeping her eye out for people, but I noticed that she was mostly focusing on me. As we enter the school where there are more prying eyes, however, she starts keeping her head down and walking on the side of the path to try to stay out of sight. Oh, oh. Isn't there at least some way to help her feel more comfortable? I guess you could just like walk with her, like right next to her. Might make her feel more comfortable. If I have time, I think I'll take the same street again today. If we're lucky, maybe we can go home together again. As long as you don't mind, that is. Aw, oh, hell yeah, mate. Aw. I... I don't mind or anything. I like being able to talk with you, senpai. Aw. Really? I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I need to change my shoes. One sec. Right. Me, too. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Looking ahead, Sashi suddenly slows her pace and hides behind me as, as much as she can, like she's trying to disappear. Oh no. I shift my gaze in the direction she was looking and see a lone girl passing in front of the first year shoe rack. Oh no. Oh, it's Blondie. Her hair is dyed blonde and she's wearing a short skirt. Even though we're a, way, a ways away from her, I can see the sour look on her face. She's a gal. A Japanese gal. Wait, is that the Sadokawa? <laughs> Sadokawa girl. I ask this quietly as I look over my shoulder while still trying to keep Sachi hidden. You know her? No, I've only heard rumors about her. As I'm working out how to talk about this with Sachi, the bell rings. The girl who I'm pretty sure is Sadokawa hears it and heads to her class. Oh no. It's a good thing we weren't in a hurry. We just barely missed her as it, as it is. It, it looks like she's already gone. Sachi, you need to get going too, don't you? Sachi probably doesn't want to continue this line of conversation. I make sure Sadoka was like, definitely gone and with a sigh of relief, not to Sachi. Oh yeah, right. Let me join you for lunch again. See you later. Okay, see you. Aww.
I feel so bad for her. Why don't, why don't someone like the teachers do something? Like, she, she comes to school and bandages all the time. I, I guess she doesn't say anything. I don't know. It's sad. So that was the infamous Sadokawa Ruri. 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 Huh? Since, since I've never actually talked to her, I can't say for sure, but I can tell just from looking at her that she has an aggressive personality. Uh, she has that tsundere kind of vibe to her. Making friends with Sachi is good and all, but I should probably find out what I can about Sadokawa as well. Da 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 da. Are we going for the Sunday route as well? Nice. Da da da. Morning classes are over, and it's lunchtime now. However, it's only Tomo and me in the empty classroom today. Oh! There's. I. I. Ayaki. Ayaki? I plan on asking Tomo about Sadokawa, based on how scared Sachi was from seeing her. There's no doubt in my mind that Sadokawa is the one bullying her. Possibly. Wait, where is Akimi? She had some business in the faculty room. She'll be here soon. I see. Perfect. Before she gets here, something I wanted to ask you. Hmm? What's up? Well, first, if we only have until Akimi comes back. I probably won't be able to go into detail about much. I wanted to know about the girl you mentioned before, the first year student, Sadokawa. As soon as we started talking about her, Akimi got really quiet, so I figured it'd be better to ask when she's not around. You said you've met her in the past, right? That's what you want, huh? Well, it's not like it's a secret, I suppose. We met her two years ago, when Akimi and I were in our last year of middle school. Sadakawa transferred into our school. Since we were in different grades, we didn't meet her right away. But even back then, she seemed like a violent person. And rumors soon made their way to take to rumors made their way to us. So then Akimi, with her motto at the time being "Love and Peace," went and tried to rehabilitate her. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Well, I didn't say that she succeeded. Sadakawa made fun of her mercilessly, but even still, Akimi refused to give up. That girl's so damn stubborn. It finally ended when the two got in a nasty fight. Oh no! No one tried to stop them? Well, I rushed to intervene. But it's not like Akimi just stood there and took Sadakawa's blows. It looked like Akimi lost her cool, and she fought Sadakawa with everything she had. That was not something I was expecting from her. Oh wow! That's something! She's a fighter and a lover. What happened to her? It was not just a simple squabble. Akimi's always had good ref reflexes. Sadakawa seemed to have a lot of experience in fights. They kicked and punched, and naturally, when they started using their knees and elbows, I had to stop them. Oh, damn. Show. Dang. I never would have guessed Akimi would be able to fight. Even I didn't know she could. And I've known her for a long time. I saw a side of her I never knew existed that day. Oh. Did Sadokawa say something to make Akimi so angry? Really? I think that when Sadokawa punched her the first time, she flipped the switch side of Akimi. I guess when Akimi snapped, she really snapped. Oh, she punched her? That's... <laughs> That's not good. So after the fight, Akimi became really depressed and was a totally different person for a while. Because she didn't win? If I had to guess, I'd say that it wasn't because she lost. Rather, I think the fact that she couldn't change Sadakawa came as a huge shock to her. What do you mean? Akimi is really good at becoming friends with people. You have noticed that, haven't you? Yeah? No matter how gloomy or rebellious a person is, or how different their interests are to Akimi's, she can always find something to be friendly about. But Sadakawa was not having any of that. After that day, whenever she got depressed, it's because she had come in contact with Sadakawa again. Oh. That's also surprising. Kimi always seems like the type to look forward to no matter what. Well, the old Kimi was a real wimp at least. If she could try to make up with Sadakawa at some point, I think that might cheer her up. But those two are like oil and water. I can't force her to do that. No one can. Hmm. I suppose it's best to not talk about Sadakawa in front of her, then. Probably not. 
unless she brings it up herself, then yeah, I think that's wise. At least until she has a change of heart. I think Akimi will find her own way to deal with it. You think so? Yeah. Seems like you might want to ask around about Sadakawa and Sachi's relationship if you want. I could try asking around. See if people s see what people say. Recent information about Sadokawa might be more used to you than information about her past. Oh wow! Tomo is a real homeboy. Really? Yeah, that would be useful information to have. I appreciate your help. I guess both of us are helping Sachi out in our own eye, in our own ways. Even if Tomo is not directly involved, I know I can rely on him for this, especially since he has a lot more connections than I do. Akimi and I will gather any info we hear. Sadokawa doesn't seem to be as violent as she was before, but it doesn't seem like Sachi-chan Sachi is asking for help either. Plus, I think Sadokawa is the only one bullying Sachi-chan. Oh. One victim and one tormentor. That wouldn't stand out too much. Most of the students outside of their class probably don't know anything about it. Whatever the other students and the teachers think, I doubt they know the whole story. Even if they suspect what's going on, they most likely turn a blind eye to it. Since no one wants to get involved in that. So in other words, as it stands, no one's going to lift a finger to help Sachi. Oh, that sucks. I think I missed I, I mixed up the voices precisely. Well then, if no one else is involved, resolving this shouldn't be too hard. However, you know, as soon as you think of Sachi, I'm pretty sure they'll turn as turn as blind an eye to you helping her as they have to Sadokawa abusing her. Probably. If Sadokawa is the only one bullying her, I think I should be able to get- If Sadokawa is the only one bullying her, I think I should be able to get her to stop. It's assuming she doesn't have any friends in, in on it with her, of course. You probably could, but I doubt it'll go smoothly either way. Sachi has me, and I have you guys. We'll definitely work something out. Friendship. I hope so. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. <sighs> well, I, well, I think that's a good point to stop at. So, I guess, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Love at First Sight. Be sure to look out for upcoming videos relating to this and other series I'm going to try and continue again. Uh, check out my social media if you want to see anything I post besides on YouTube. Yeah, I will see you guys next time.